Tonight on Election 68, we'll find out for certain the mood of this country. We may find out whom we've sent to the White House. We will learn what kind of a Congress we've given the next president to work with, and we're going to try to find out why. ABC News Election Headquarters in New York, live and in color. ABC News presents Election 68, full coverage of today's presidential election by a nationwide ABC News team of 15,000 election night reporters. Brought to you by B.F. Goodrich, the name that assures quality in tires, chemicals, products for home, industry, and aviation. B.F. Goodrich, where exciting things are happening. ABC News can bring you full coverage of the 1972 elections. ABC News presents complete nationwide coverage of tonight's election 72. Brought to you by J.C. Penney. Tomorrow morning, our 1,700 stores and our catalog will be waiting to help you find what you're looking for. Now, from election headquarters in New York, the anchormen of the ABC Evening News, Harry Reasoner and Howard K. Smith. Good evening. Well, at last, the long wait is over. Tonight, we find out whether the pollsters were right and there's going to be a Nixon landslide, partly right, he'll win a modest victory, or whether they were wrong and McGovern's going to win. <laughs> ABC News presents Political Spirit of 76. This is the final chapter of this bicentennial election year. Tonight from ABC News Election Center in New York, the results. Election night. Good evening. I'm Harry Reasoner at ABC Election Headquarters. With me are Barbara Walters and Howard K. Smith, and we'll be here for as long as it takes to determine exactly what happened tonight. At the moment, uh, in this first election of our third century, about 2% of the nation's precincts have reported, and in the popular vote, with about a million or a little bit more than a million votes counted, Gerald Ford is leading Jimmy Carter 53% to 47%. That falls into the classification of being interesting but not significant. We do, however, already have some projections. Howard K. Smith can tell us about one. This is an ABC News special. The 80 vote, election night. The campaign is over. The votes being cast and counted. Now the results from the nation and what they mean. Reported from the ABC News Election Center in New York by Max Robinson, Barbara Walters, and special analysis and commentary by national columnist Tom Wicker and George Will, moderated by Robert McNeil. And at the ABC News election night anchor desk, Ted Koppel and Frank Reynolds. And good evening once again. While we were away, an immensely important state uh, was projected by ABC News. Ohio, with its 25 electoral college votes, will go for Governor Ronald Reagan, the Republican candidate. This is a reversal. President Carter won Ohio very narrowly in 1976, and Ohio's 25 votes were crucial to his victory because he won by only 27. But uh, we have uh, projected now that Governor Ronald Reagan will take Ohio. And we have another projection. This one is not a surprise. West Virginia will go for President Carter, according to ABC News, on the basis of returns from our key precincts. Six electoral college votes. President Carter winning West Virginia by a comfortable margin see if I have uh, it's comfortable also for Reagan in Ohio let's have a quick look at our uh, map now to show you just exactly uh, how it stacks up at this stage of the election night red for Reagan and blue for President Carter Reagan has won five states with a total of 76 electoral college votes and President Carter has won two West Virginia and Georgia for 18 the uh, map does not actually show the electoral college votes but uh, that's the setup as of right now. 76 for Reagan and 18 for President Carter with 270 
needed. Good evening. It is 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, and the polls are closed in 16 more states. ABC News wishes to project that Ronald Reagan has won in the state of Texas with its 29 electoral votes. The polls are still open in some parts of the states, namely in El Paso, and there is an important house race there where your vote will still count. No Democrat has won the presidency without carrying Texas. ABC News projects that Mr. Reagan has won in the state of New Jersey. The Republicans have won it in the last four presidential elections. ABC News projects Mr. Reagan is the winner in the state of Missouri with its 11 electoral votes. ABC News projects that Mr. Reagan has won in Tennessee. He won it only by half a point in 1980. He wins it again tonight. And ABC News projects that Mr. Reagan is the winner of the eight electoral votes in Oklahoma, part of his western base. Peter, with the additional states closed, there are now enough electoral votes voted on and floating around to choose a president. We now project Connecticut to have been, to have gone to Mr. Reagan with its eight electoral votes. Kansas, for Mr. Reagan, seven electoral votes by our projection. Maine, our projection is that Ronald Reagan has carried it and its four electoral votes. Delaware, our projection is that Reagan has carried Delaware with three electoral votes. Mm. And here's a big one. Illinois, Ronald Reagan, 24 electoral votes. Now the first victory, first victory tonight for Walter Mondale in the District of Columbia. Three electoral votes for Mondale. Peter. The electoral vote for Mr. Mondale there in the District of Columbia adding up 254 for Mr. Reagan, 270 needed to win. Mr. Reagan is 16 short. Mr. Mondale has three. This is ABC News coverage of the 84 vote from ABC News election headquarters in New York. David Brinkley and Peter Jennings. Good evening. At this uh, particular point of the evening, the polls are closing, as I think we said, in 16 more states around the country. From ABC News, this is continuing coverage of the 88 vote with Sam Donaldson at the Dukakis headquarters in Boston, Britt Hume at the Bush headquarters in Houston, James Wooten and Barry Sarafin on Capitol Hill, Lynn Scher and Jeff Greenfield in New York. And now reporting from the ABC News Election Night Command Center, Peter Jennings and David Brinkley. Well, from our point of view, that was quite a mouthful, and uh, perhaps from your point of view, quite an earful as we made those uh, projections. As I said, it's five minutes after 8 Eastern Standard Time. Polls closed there in 16 more states in the District of Columbia. Let's just take a second and look at the overall map there because um, give you a chance to savor uh, what the country is looking like at this point. Just very quickly down on those recent calls, we projected Texas for Bush, New Jersey for Bush, Tennessee for Bush, Oklahoma for Bush, Kansas for Bush. We did not project Missouri for Bush. Missouri has not been projected yet. We did project Mississippi for Bush, Delaware, North Dakota, Massachusetts, his home state, went for Dukakis, as did Maryland, and as did the District of Columbia. This is an ABC News special. The 92 vote. Reporting from the ABC News Election Night Command Center in New York, David Brinkley and Peter Jennings. Well, here we go again, David. Here we go again. Nice to have you. We were trying to figure out a little earlier how many votes we've counted together in the last eight years. Millions, millions, <laughs> millions. I don't know how many. Good evening to you and welcome to our full-scale election night coverage. We'll be here until it's over. It's 7 o'clock here in the East. The polls have just closed in six states, and in a minute we'll project the winners and the losers in those states. It's going to be an exciting evening, no doubt, just as it has turned out to be a momentous year. Live continuing coverage of the 96 vote. Once again, from ABC News World Headquarters in New York, Peter Jennings. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back uh, to our political coverage of the election 90, 1996. Uh, thank you for joining us. If this is the first time, take a look at what the map looks so far. This is, uh, the yellow is too close to call, the blue is for President Clinton, and there is as yet no red up for Senator Dole. Uh, now at 8 p.m. Eastern time, the polls have closed in 16 states and the District of Columbia. 
202 more electoral votes uh, are in play here at the moment. So ABC News is going to make some projections. Take a look as we go along. While we were away, by the way, we did project that Kentucky, which neither candidate could take for granted, has in fact, with its eight electoral votes, gone for Mr. Clinton. Texas, the third biggest electoral prize in the country, 32 electoral votes we project is going to go to Mr. Dole. Bill Clinton was convinced he could win. He has not, by our projection, Texas for Dole. Pennsylvania, the fifth biggest electoral prize, with 23 electoral votes we project will go to Mr. Clinton. The Dole campaign had gone well for a while, but then substantially tailed off. In Illinois, the state to which President Clinton has strong emotional attachments, it's his wife's home state, 22 electoral votes, ABC News projects that Clinton has won in Illinois. ABC projects that Mr. Clinton has won in the state of Michigan, where the popular Republican governor, John Engler, was not able to help Bob Dole, who trailed in the polls throughout the campaign. This is an ABC News special, The 2000 Vote. Now reporting, Peter Jennings. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our election coverage 2000, ABC 2000. We're back in Times Square. We were, were for the great worldwide millennium celebrations. Likes to think of itself as the crossroads of the world, but the crossroads of the world are everywhere in the country today, all over the country today. Millions of people, perhaps well more than 100 million people, are out voting today at every level of government in the country, for the president, for the senate, for governors, for the House of Representatives, for any number of direct action referendum and initiatives around the country. And with an enormous team of people all over the country tonight, we're going to try to make it fun and exciting. It is inherently exciting already, and we'll try to make it instructive as well. As I said, people all over the country, this being billed as the polls close before the election as the closest election in a generation. And we're going to see in the course of this evening whether in fact it already or will live up to its billings. Now the polls closed about an hour ago in two states, so we've already made some projections. We projected that George Bush has won the presidential race in Indiana and Kentucky, and now the polls have closed in six more states. So with the advantage of all of our electronic gizmos, we're now going to give you what may be some projections, but certainly based on the information that we have as of now. This is an ABC News special. The 2004 vote. Today, all across the country, Americans cast their vote. And tonight, it all comes down to this election night. Now reporting from ABC News election headquarters in New York, Peter Jennings. I promise you that hive of activity you see behind me is, is, is real time stuff. Everybody's working, working like nobody's business here. Let's go to the map right away um, because I think that we were making those projections at 8 o'clock Eastern time in, in rather a hurry. ABC's George Stephanopoulos, we see nothing deeply significant in the projections no we have just made whatsoever. Yet. Although you did, you did mention New Jersey, and actually the Democrats had a little flurry of anxiety in the final days. Uh, they saw some wavering poll numbers, and they sent Senator Hillary Rodham Clinton out there to hold down New Jersey in the final week, and it turned out not to be all that close. And I did allude to the fact that the Republicans almost wanted to take him on a bit, perhaps Bring encourage the Democrats to spend some money in New Jersey and they might time. have had to spend elsewhere. Number one in news, number one in Southern California. This is an ABC News special. Election night 2008. Live from Times Square in New York. Now reporting, Charles Gibson, Diane Sawyer, and George Stephanopoulos. We wish you a good evening. We know it's going to be a fascinating evening as this country picks the 44th president and the members of the 111th Congress. It is gonna be a fascinating night of counting votes and already we have some results. We can make some projections. Polls are closing right now in six states that represent 58 electoral votes. And based on our exit polls, ABC News can now project winners in two states. In the state of Kentucky, we are ready to project that John McCain will carry the state of Kentucky. George Bush got 60% of the vote in Kentucky four years ago. John McCain will carry it tonight. In the state of Vermont, we can project that Barack Obama will win this state. 
John Kerry got 59% in Vermont four years ago. John McCain didn't even have an office in the state of Vermont. We project Barack Obama will get Vermont and its three electoral votes. The state of Virginia, it is a battleground state. It is a state to which John McCain and Barack Obama both devoted a great deal of attention. It is voted Republican in the last 10 presidential elections. ABC is not yet ready to project a winner in the state of Virginia. While it has voted Republican in past presidential elections, this is a state tending more Democratic. Uh, it has a Democratic governor, it has a Democratic senator, and after tonight, we already are ready to project it will have a second Democratic senator. In the state of Indiana, we are not yet ready to project a winner. That also a battleground state, voted Republican in 16 out of the last 17 presidential elections. It borders Barack Obama's home state of Illinois. We are not yet ready to project the state of Indiana. The polls have closed in Georgia with 15 electoral votes. Not yet ready to project there. 30% of the state African-American. The African-American vote, something we'll be talking about throughout the night. But George Bush got 58% of the vote in Georgia four years ago. We are not yet ready to project Georgia tonight. And South Carolina, also not yet ready to project. Again, a state George Bush won heavily in 2004, but we are not ready to project it. And we want to show you two maps tonight. These are gonna be the key. Keep track of these. This map, the United States, we will color in red, states that have been carried by Republicans, blue for states carried by the Democrats. Two states you see up there already, and we will color that map in quickly as this night goes on. And then over here, the critical number that you have to remember tonight, as you see there at the top of the board, 270 electoral votes needed to win the presidency of the United States. Those numbers will mount up as time goes on. The count of the 2008 election is underway. For an election night this big, tonight, ABC News will take you everywhere the story is. Everywhere. To Chicago with the Obama camp. Phoenix with the McCain camp. From the heated battlegrounds of Florida, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Virginia, and Colorado. And at the White House in Capitol Hill. From all points across the country. With American voters taking the real pulse of the nation. To London, Baghdad, even Kenya for the global view. From the roar of the street streets in Times Square, and all the buzz in cyberspace. To ABC's Ballot Watch Desk, election night roundtable of experts, presidential historian, and special reports on what challenges immediately face our next president. Tonight, ABC News live coverage of election night 2008 will take you everywhere. So as you can see, we have a very full team to report on the election results tonight, but it will be Diane, George, and me at our rather Starship <laughs> Enterprise desks here. <laughs> we'll be able to manage the whole thing. This is an ABC News special. Your voice, your vote. Election night 2012. Live from ABC News election night headquarters in Times Square, New York. Now reporting, Diane Sawyer and George Stephanopoulos. And finally, it is here. We are here in Times Square for Election Night 2012 at the ABC News Election Headquarters. Great to have you with us all day long. We've been watching grandmothers, first-time voters, rich people, poor people, blue-collar workers, all the people who believe in America going to the polls. Every state of our union today joining together at the ballot boxes. And we will be bringing you the results. We are here to tell you who won why throughout this evening and what's next it's your voice as we've been saying and your vote tonight and George. diane it has been a long bitter and expensive race deadlocked most of the way and it's revealed in america divided in so many ways tonight all of you are going to tip the balance and now we are ready to begin because we have three projections to make because the polls have closed in six states and we are ready to go here it is indiana this state has switched President Obama won it four years ago. Governor Romney has won it this time. It is not a surprise, though. We were expecting Governor Romney to take Indiana. Kentucky, this is a very red state, and Governor Romney has taken Kentucky as well tonight. And Vermont, a very blue state, weighing in early. And President Obama, ABC News, based on the exit polls, is ready to project a winner in Vermont right now. Let's tell you about other states. We have too little information to make a projection at this point. Georgia, a red state, uh, Bill Clinton won in 1992, but no 
other Republican, or every Republican has won since then. In South Carolina, solid red state. Not enough information to project at this point, though. And Virginia, this is a big one, George, and we do not have enough information at this moment. We are watching it every single minute. We'll bring you the news as we have it. That is Virginia. the biggest prize so far, no question about that. A must win for Mitt Romney. Let's look at the overall map right now. As you said, no big surprises there right now. A lot of votes outstanding, but the polls are closing. The race could not be closer. Vote 2012 starts right now. This is an ABC News special. Election night 2012. Are you fired up? Are you ready to go? I believe in America. I believe in you. The speeches are over. The campaigning done. Tonight, across America, your voice has been heard. Your vote being counted. So who will win this crucial election for president? Now, the ABC News political team takes you everywhere. To Chicago inside the Obama campaign. And Boston behind the scenes with Romney. To the heated battleground states across the country where this election will be decided. And our team tracking your vote everywhere. In the crossroads of the world with the crowds in Times Square. And with our partners from Univision in Miami. Plus ABC's Barbara Walters, Katie Couric, and our powerhouse team telling you who's winning and why on this historic night. Election night 2012. The stakes so high, the race so close. America's next president decided tonight. It's your voice, your vote. Once again from ABC News election headquarters in Times Square, New York, Diane Sawyer and George Stephanopoulos. You are looking at Times Square, USA, the pulse of the nation and also the crossroads of the world. 182 million people pass through here every year. And tonight, it is election headquarters for ABC News. And we are so glad to have you back with us on this very big night, George. And we've got an entire team wait out here aligned with us. We've got our reporters and analysts over on that side of the room. Jonathan Carl, Koki Roberts, Ron Brownstein, our poll watchers, also our, our polling, uh, Gary Langer polling unit. Also on this side, of course, a team with so much experience in so many presidential campaigns, working them in them and covering them as well. They are the Mount Everest over there of expertise and insight tonight. And also, we are in touch with you throughout the evening. Katie Couric is manning our social media headquarters. Great to see you, Katie. Thanks, thanks. Just blocks apart in New York City, and just hours from now, you will see the next president at one of those podiums. A night of history starts right now. The time has finally come. They've made their case. We will make America great again. We're going to prove to the world we are stronger together. So who will be your next president right now? Live from Times Square, the crossroads of America, with our country at the crossroads. This is ABC Election Night 2016. Now reporting from ABC News Election Headquarters, George Stephanopoulos. Good evening and welcome to Election Night 2016. What a crazy campaign this has been. Bitter, ugly, always unpredictable. The debates, the rallies, the ads and attacks, they're all done now. The decision in your hands. Our whole team is here all through the night as the votes are counted and the first states are in, so let's get right to it. The polls have now closed in six states with 60 electoral votes, and ABC News can project that Donald Trump has won the state of Kentucky. That was a state won by Bill Clinton twice, 1992 and 1996, Republican ever since then. Donald Trump the winner tonight. Up in Vermont, three electoral votes. Hillary Clinton wins those three electoral votes, of course. That is the home state of Bernie Sanders, her rival in the primaries. Solid blue state, Hillary Clinton gets that tonight. And in the state of Indiana, right in the middle of the country, Donald Trump wins that as well. That was won by Barack Obama in 2008. It's gone Republican every other time since 1964. And of course, Donald Trump's running mate, uh, Mike Pence, is from the state of Indiana. So right there we see 19 electoral votes for Donald Trump, three for Hillary Clinton so far, those first three states we can call. Polls have also closed in the state of Georgia. That went to Bill Clinton in 1992. We do not have enough votes in to project that yet. It's been a solid Republican state ever since 1992. Not enough votes in there yet. State of South Carolina, also solid red. Went Democrat only once in the last generation to Jimmy Carter in 1976. Not enough votes there yet either. And we also have been paying special attention. 
Good evening. This most unusual and important race for the White House at the finish line. Votes being counted. Polls starting to close. And our special coverage starts right now. This is an ABC News special. The time is now. The day is here. It's a choice between a Trump super recovery and a Biden depression. I'm running as a proud Democrat, but I will govern as an American president. Live from New York City and across the country, election night 2020. Now reporting, chief anchor George Stephanopoulos. Welcome to what may be a long election night capping a very long election year. We have never lived through a campaign quite like this. A campaign defined by a raging pandemic that has claimed more than 230,000 American lives. Caused economic upheaval, costing nearly 20 million Americans their jobs. Amid racial unrest, protests in the streets of America's cities. It is an anxious, unsettling time. And through it all, America is voting like never before. When the polls opened this morning, more than 100 million of us had already cast our ballots. An astonishing display of citizenship. For the first time ever, more Americans will vote before Election Day than on the day itself. As you can see, people are still voting in much of the country. The lines have been long all through the day. The process has been mostly peaceful. And when all the ballots are counted, more than 150 million Americans will have voted, shattering all previous records. You all know the stakes are high. We do, too. I'm here with our political team at ABC Election Headquarters. We have correspondents staked out across the country at the White House with the President, in Delaware with Joe Biden, and at ABC's Ballot Watch Station, where our legal team is focused on what's happening as the final votes are cast and the first ballots are counted.